Okay, so I just did Aries, and now we're going to do Taurus, because I wanted to do, see if something different came out today, but it was very similar, so, and I was able to link it up better, I think, today. Okay, so there's that. I just wanted to, because there are all kinds of things in yesterday's message wanting to pop up, okay, and I feel like that was because Mars is in Gemini, and that could... Uh, refer to the twins, the soulmates, and all beings. Okay, so now we're on Taurus. Whew. Okay. You and your person of interest. This is you. This is this card represents you. Okay. Now what is all this? Okay, so this is like coming <laughs> This is like a, if you felt like a zombie, okay? And you have what is that? Oh, okay. All right, so if you felt I, I got Scorpio when I first saw this card. Okay, so tarantula Scorpio. Uh, first thing came out was Scorpio, and then when I looked into that, this is, I feel like, what you're reaching for you and your person. High vibing uh, union. And here's the sacred ibis. And so whatever that experience was in the past, it's time to let it go. Assimilate your knowledge from that experience into the now, and I feel like you could fully release that. Now, the other thing with that is, if you felt like tired or... Um, like zombie energy or hibernating energy. Okay. So what I'm getting with that is, um, it's like you'll, oh, this is interesting. It looks like coming out of second density here. That's interesting. Oh, okay. They said, you remember you gave a friend um, uh, uh, what is that? Tarantula for her wedding. So you may have a wedding and because of the Uranus energy, it may be completely different than your usual thing. It's kind of feeling like, uh, Wednesday. Okay. All right. At any rate, These bracelets. Someone br makes bracelets and, and um, makes money off of them. Okay, so that's just a, a hello. Okay, and um, all right. Yeah, I can't get over the fact that this reminds me of second density, which is, okay, so you might have been spending time in the forest or taking time to connect with nature. And what I want to say with that is, though the ground seems dense, and you can apply this to people, right? Though the ground seems dense, it all comes together uh, with many subparticles that holds it up. So if you've been looking at another energy as dense, just remember that there is one energy that supports all. So I'm getting that. The other thing is, oh, so Jupiter, okay, so if you've been in that scorpionic energy, I wanna say, right, to kind of self-protect and preserve, that water influence from Pisces, I want to say, uh, planet, please, oh, so what was not seen can be seen now, which is the Neptune retrograde direct now, Okay, so your dream work is starting to emerge, and what it requires is action. And if you haven't felt like it, I feel like you're going to feel more energized by coming in into this inner energy. Okay, it's like coming out of hibernation or second density. 
Okay, so some of you may have the ability to see Sasquatch, <laughs> tongue twister, Sasquatch, okay, or communicate with them, second density beings. That's what I'm picking up. Okay, that could be fun. Okay, so that's that. Anything else? Yeah, you might have gotten it entangled with something. And that's calling to release it through forgiveness. And now the universe knows which way you want to go. Yeah, so this is the, like that hibernation period is what I'm getting with that. Okay. Now this is ancestors also, so connect with them over the holidays. It's like October, November, December. The, the connection is open, I feel like, more, even more. Okay, so that's what I'm getting with this winter period here. Okay, it's like ancestors. Okay, now. And you can get news ahead of time. It's like yesterday. It was really weird. I was sitting in the car and I started humming this tune and I was like, what is that? And then the song came on right after that. And that was the most bizarre thing because I kept humming it to try to figure out what that song was. And then the song came on. Okay. <laughs> okay. So you're going to have more moments like that because you're connecting more. Okay. So I'm getting that. Okay. So your dreams that you put on the back burner are coming into the forefront and being lit. That's what that message is. Now, Aries had a, a meerkat standing on top of uh, a hyena. And here you have the hyena, which says fear here. But that's not what I'm feeling. Uh, well, there could be some residual energy from this relationship not working out. But... You know, it's like try and try again. Br brush your shoulders off and try again. And if not, you can always nurture other things, right? Your relationship to children, uh, cousins, family, tribes. Uh, there's all kinds of places that you can focus and give your love to, right? Okay. All right, we were doing you and your person of interest, but that kind of went into a wide band here. Or is that a narrow band? Okay. Talking about energy here. Okay. Will. Okay. Yeah, I'm getting this as determination for you. And you see it. And they may not see you, but you see where you want to go. Okay. And there was a period where you had to pick up the tools through experience to get to this next phase. So see here it says Jaguar and release. Release that energy that you see as um, dense energy. Okay, now, how do they see you? They would be willing to help you and assist you, and I feel like that's from spirit whoever the human is, I feel like even spirit would be glad to help you with the situation. They're ready to transform it, and they see you ready to transform. Invite peace, but you, okay, so it's like, I'm getting that song, you know, where they're like in Hawaii and then they come together and and then um, the guys start fighting or something like that. That's what I'm getting. So it's like you're in this stage and you're like, do I really want to invite that um, kind of energy again? Okay, so be tender and, and go easy, right? But movement is a key. It doesn't have to be fast, but movement is a key here and keep the faith. They have faith in you, that's for sure. Okay. And this is what I feel like the challenge is here. You're going to want to retreat and just stay in your 
This is like grace. Okay, for some of you, that could have been your Scorpio energy. Okay. Reaching for grace. Okay. Okay, and I got relaxed. It's going to happen. Okay. Ooh, that's 11. That, I think that ended at a one reading. 11th house. Okay, so... Are you interested in an air sign? Fire sign. Use your power. Okay. So, this is what I feel like. Whatever that experience was, that was helping you to wake up to yourself and the power that you have as a being. Okay. And then here is use your power. So, I feel like because of this raising of the energy, that your outcome, nine, completion, will, will come to a completion. And now you're going to feel like yourself fully. Okay. I'll leave you with that.